What's going on summoners? My name is Nathan Ng and it's time to unbench the Kench. <laughs> Did we really... <laughs> Am I really saying that? I'm really sorry. That's right, everybody's favorite River King is finally getting an update. This isn't a major rework, but it's a pretty big one that'll definitely change the way that he's played. So let's stop wasting time and let's jump right into the video. A quick note before we start, these changes just arrived on the PBE, so we should expect some things to change. We don't know when the new Tom Kench will be released, but we'll make sure to let you guys know when we do. Alright, so let's start with this passive and acquired taste. This ability is pretty much the same as before, allowing Tom Kent to deal additional magical damage with his auto attacks. However, it looks like the maximum health scaling has been lowered from 4% to 2.5%. Overall, this passive is a core part of TK's kit, and it makes sense that it stayed pretty much the same. Moving on to his Q, this is where stuff starts getting interesting. At first glance, not much has changed. Tom Kench lashes out his tongue, dealing magical damage and slowing the enemy. However, a lot of small details got changed, so let's talk about them. First things first, since this W and ultimate got changed, Tom Kench can't eat minions anymore, so that interaction is totally gone. However, TK can now eat enemy champions from a range if they have maximum stacks. This gives them a ton of catch potential, but we'll use the long cooldown from your ultimate, which we'll talk about later. His Q cooldown will no longer be a flat 5 seconds. Instead, it'll scale down from 7 to 5 seconds. That sounds pretty bad, but the mana cost has gone down with the ability's rank. And the best part is that you heal for a portion of your missing health every time you hit an enemy champion. That is a 6-10% missing health ratio, which is kind of crazy considering how low the mana cost becomes. Overall, my first impressions are that Tom Kench is no longer a support. I know it's early, but this new Q sounds like an amazing ability for the top lane. The change basically sacrifices the massive slow for a bunch of sustain, and that's a lot better for a solo lane. His Q will also look like it applies his passive again, which is huge when it comes to keeping up your stacks. Now, let's talk about his brand new W, Abyssal Voyage. Tom Kench dives down and reappears at a target location, knocking up all enemies hit for one second. If you have an ally inside of you, they'll come with you too. This ability is on a 20 second cooldown, scaling down to 16 seconds. The base damage is pretty good too, with a base damage of 100 to 240 and 100% AP scaling. Something interesting about this new W is that the range scaled with the rank, going from 1000 units to 1200. Tom Kench's new W gives him more of a consistent CC, which is pretty huge for a tank that never had anything he could use to instantly peel or engage. This ability reminds me of Rakan's W, but obviously you just can't dash yourself out of the situation. Once you dive into the enemy, you're there for good, but luckily you'll have your E. Speaking of your E, Thick Skin literally got no changes, at least for now. This is another iconic Tom Kench ability, so it makes sense that Riot wants to keep it unchanged. My first thought is that the healing from your Q and your E will make Tom Kench extremely difficult to poke out of lane. As long as you don't commit to an all-in, you'll be able to heal yourself back up. I'm guessing that we'll have some interesting ways to maximize your healing, especially since your Q scales off of missing health. Now let's move on to Tom Kench's brand new ultimate, Devour. This ability does in fact still devour people. You can devour any champion, ally, or enemy, and the effect will be different depending on what you choose. To devour an enemy, you'll need 3 stacks of your passive, just like before. Once devoured, they will be held inside for 3 seconds. When exiting, they'll take 100 base damage along with 15% of the enemy's max HP. This health percentage also scaled with your AP. If you devour an ally, you can keep them inside for up to 3 seconds. Your ally will be granted a shield of 300 plus 100% of your AP. So if you have 200 AP, you'll give your ally a 500 health shield at rank 1. In both cases, you'll be slowed by 40% and grounded. However, you can use your W to dive into the enemy team, but only with your ally. Basically, you can't use any mobility except for your W when you have a champion inside of you. This ability is on a 120 second cooldown, scaling down to 80 seconds at max rank. Overall, this ability is definitely going to change the way Tom Kench is being played. 2 minutes is an insanely long time and you'll really need to think about how you want to use your ultimate in a fight. So let's talk about first impressions. After looking at these abilities, I can pretty confidently say that Tom Kench will be a top laner. If you pick him as a support, his W is pretty good for engaging, but it definitely will not be enough. When Leona jumps in, she has a ton of CC and her W to protect her. Nautilus, bunch of CC. Champions that can only jump in need a ton of survivability, and Tom Kench is one of the squishiest champions in the game when he doesn't have a lot of items. As a top laner, I think Tom Kench will be pretty decent, and if you're able to land your Qs, you'll definitely be out trading most top laners. The most important part about his new kit is the ability to devour an enemy champion with your Q. I can only imagine the horror of getting eaten by a Tom Kench over the wall, but how practical is that? Right now, Tom Kench is extremely obnoxious in the top lane for about 15 minutes, and that's all you can really do. With this early game devourer combo removed, you'll need to rely on your poke and sustain to win lane instead of all ins. 
So what do you guys think? Do you think he's gonna be a very strong champion or do you think he'll just be quite literally a catfish? <laughs> Trust me, I have a lot of experience with those. Anyway, let us know what you think about the new Tom Kench down in the comments below. If you want to keep up with the meta, tier list, news, updates, and more, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.